A lot of people miss this simple calibration technique when using a neutral tool on a mill turn machine. Now, in order for me to explain this properly, you need to understand how this machine works. There are two orientations that we can cut in on either spindle. You have the J1 orientation, where the insert's facing away from you, and you have the J2 orientation, where the insert's facing towards you. Now, if the tool is off center at all, the machine will have to compensate in either positive or negative in X to make sure it's at the right diameter. And these tools don't come perfect, so you're going to want to check this no matter how good your tool manufacturer promises you that this tool is. First thing we're going to do is just rough away a little bit of material. It's my first cuts on the machine, so honestly, I just wanted to see some chips fly. But after that, now is where we're going to get to measuring. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a cut at 2.4 inches in the J1 orientation. Now, it's important to go slow here. You don't want any pressure on the tool. You want to try to take as accurate as a cut as possible. And now we can take our measurements. Now, to my surprise, the first cut actually came out almost perfect. Next up, the J2 orientation. So we're going to take a skim cut in the J2 orientation, trying to remove 10 more thousandths, which will get us to 2.390. Again, we're going slow here. We're not trying to do this fast. We're trying to see how off center this tool really is. So when that's done, I'm going to measure it. And here are my results. So I went for a target of 2.4 and I got 2.4. But then when I went for a target of 2.390, I got 2.3907. So my tool is actually 7 tenths off center. Now I can correct this by putting 3 tenths in my geometry offset and then bringing down my entire tool offset 3 tenths. And I can pretty much guarantee that that tool is going to cut perfectly. Now 7 tenths might not seem like a big deal, but you'd be surprised at how far off these tools can be. So in this video, it's not really a big deal, but the technique still applies. It's always good to check both sides of your insert. And here's a sneak peek of my next video coming up. You guys asked for it, so we're going to make it. Going to be doing a macro on how to bore out your jaws. Hope you have a good day.